Hey there again, Erica Swarthy Daisy here. Quick video on African American surnames. If you're doing genealogy research or you're just getting into your DNA and trying to find links to different family members, it's important to consider the history of African American surnames. So this is what we're going to talk about a little bit in this video. Looking at a quick example in my family, my great great grandparent on my maternal side is Alonzo Adams. And in 1870 in the census, this is how he was listed. And then when I looked further into documentation in the 1880s census, he was listed as Alonzo Brown. Let's look at this Finding Your People, an African American Guide to Discovering Your Roots book. This is by Sandra Lee Jamison. Let's look into that to see the history of African American surnames. Chapter five is titled, What's in a Name? On page 57, it says, in 1877, after emancipation, Augusta, Georgia listed these as the 15 most common surnames of former slaves. Williams, Thomas, Robinson, Jones, Brown, Scott, Johnson, Walker, Harris, Smith, Davis, Turner, Jackson, Green, and Anderson. Slaves often chose surnames for themselves or titles that were independent of and unknown by the slave master. This makes it even more difficult to connect the name of a free person of color to records from his or her life in slavery. But even in the 18th and 19th century, African-American families strove to maintain a connection to family. You may find early ancestors if the names of the first African ancestors were kept in memory and family tradition. African-American soldiers during the American Revolution chose surnames when they were given the opportunity either keeping the name of their former slave master or selecting one of their own. Freeman, the most popular, Rogers, Liberty, Ball, Phillips, Johnson, Caesar, Rhodes, Brown, Jackson, Vassal, and Green were among the African-American surnames of the soldiers included in the 4th Connecticut Regiment or the American Revolution. So there, I wanted to give you a brief taste of what inspired the surnames of African Americans, especially prior to emancipation and following emancipation. So if you have any comments regarding the surnames of African Americans, please make sure to leave a comment below. If you're interested in purchasing the Finding Your People book, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box below as well. Once again, this is Erica Swarthy Daisy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.